Breaking news, my wonderful people. President Muhammad Buhari has spoken. The reason I will hand over to Tinubu and Tinubu alone is because he will not loot Nigerians' treasury. He is a wealthy man already. Who else better to become Nigerians' president? Tinubu will not loot because he's wealthy and will do the job better than Buhari APC has declared. So this is what we are hearing. Buhari himself is saying Tinubu is ready to do the job and he will do it well. He said, why? He said, he said Tinubu is a wealthy man and there's, there's nothing he's coming to steal. That is already a wealthy man. He has money, he has his own personal cash. So if you think he's coming to steal Nigerian money, they don't think that that is a possibility. They think that he's already a very wealthy person so it's not coming in terms of him, you know, wanting to loot or to, you know, to take what belongs to Nigerians. They said he's coming to serve. Okay. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. You know, we wonder why people are making a debate of what they already, they know the answer already. They know the truth. But yet we pretend to ourselves. And the reason we pretend to ourselves, only God, we, we really, we really, we really tell us, that we really tell us because we are, we are doing what we are doing and the truth is we are not really uh, we're not really paying attention to the details please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe bola met tinubu the presidential flag bearer for the all progressive congress apc will not loot nigerian treasury because he's already a wealthy man and is positioned to do better than even the incumbent president muhammad buhari if elected in 2023 this Amfara chapter of the party assured Nigerians. In an interview on Wednesday in Abuja, Yusuf Idris, the Zamfara APC Publicity Secretary, described Mr. Tinubu as capable of succeeding President Muhammad Buhari and Buhari should hand over to only him. He's the type of person who is not greedy, who is out to accommodate and he gives out his wealth. He will not steal from Nigeria. He's already a very wealthy man. If elected, the party officer has said all what he's going to see is how is how he can make Nigeria a better place and how we can contribute meaningfully and in a better way to the society. Mr. Idris said Nigerians would smile if they elect Mr. Tinubu in 2023, assuring that the president that the presidential aspirant will take Nigeria to the promised land of economic prosperity and security. I can assure you he will do better than President Muhammad Buhari. According to APC official, Mr. Tinubu is a renowned industrialist and will give a deeper approach to boost the economy system of Nigeria. He had vast experience in economy, security, governance, is capable of consulting and achieve and consolidating on President Muhammad Buhari's administration and even surpassing him. He added, he will surpass Buhari, I can assure you, because he's a good man. He's a father. He wants his son to inherit what he has done. And so he will leave good legacy. Mr. Tinubu will be a good successor to President Muhammad Buhari and people should not compromise that. Mr. Idris further described the APC presidential candidate as a believer in the democratic system and its ideal. He becomes the president. He is not a leader who, who operates like the military. No, he's not one. He's very, very, very fervent, focused, and knows what to do. He doesn't indict anyone. He works for the people. He's very focused. He's very efficient. Not be small praise for Tinubu. Hey, Tinubu, Tinubu. Yeah, well, again, everybody will promote their brand. That's what is going on here. And so the APC are saying to Nigerians that, you know, if you vote Tinubu, you are sure of economic prosperity. If you vote Tinubu, you are sure of blah, 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 blah. And so Mr. Idris said the best person to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in his own uh, opinion would be Mr. Tinubu. He said because Tinubu is already a wealthy man, so there is no need of him trying to steal. But what you are failing to realize, Mr. Tinubu, uh, Mr. Idris, is that have you heard of the saying that a human being, a human being is insatiable? Give him your car. You say, hey, 
What about your house now? If you give me your house, I feel they happy out. He say, okay, I will go homeless. Give him the house. After he will say, ah, thank you. I appreciate the candy house. So, but no money to spend. What about your bank account? You give him the bank account. You say, ah, but there are no maids. If you can come and work for me or you can come and serve me. The same person. So even if you not give your head, your leg and your hands, until, you, until it's over, it's not over. Human being and economists, it says, are insatiable. So no matter how much a man have, can't you see people that are trying to dispose of, uh, you know, cash that they have buried for time in memoria? You know why? Because th that amount of money, they think they can, they, I mean, it will not just be for them. They're already planning for children which they are not even sure, are not even aware. Eh? Generation unborn. They don't even know if their lineage will continue in the next, uh, in the next decade. Yeah? They want to save money in result of what's happening today. So, the, the, uh, sufficient of the day is the evil thereof. Sufficient of the day. You know, so human being as it were, you know, we want uh, another. They've gotten this, they say, no, it's not enough. They want another. They've gotten that, they say, no, it's not enough. Do you understand? Do you see why there are new models of cars every day? Because although you have the one of last year, there is just something added. That is a bit different from the one of today. And so they want something else. Something else, something else. It never ends. The circle keeps going on and on. So it is what it is. They said he's the best person to, support, to succeed President Muhammad Buhari. We'll wait and see. Nigerians will determine that, not APC, not any other person. Anyway, my wonderful people, what do you think? These are the days upon us. This is what is happening. And why we all, we want accord must ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Every one of us must do that which is absolutely right and necessary to get this country out of the present predicament and bring us to where we ought to be. For if we continue to pretend that what is happening is not happening, you know, you'll be surprised what will follow. Okay? You'll be surprised what will follow. Anyway, my wonderful people, what do you think? This is what is going on now. The people you think, the people you thought about, the people you expected will stand for the nation. Most of them are particularly looking out for something for their own very self and not concerned about what is happening to the nation. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. God bless. Bye for now.